that? Grade 9, new hello. Unit 17, and animal life in the past. Of course, when we talk about animal life in the past, we have to mention dinosaurs, their life, how many di how many types of dinosaurs used to live, and so on. So after the reading the text, we will answer the questions. And the question, the first exercise or the first question says, how many kinds of dinosaurs used to live on Earth? And the answer is, there were more than 700 kinds of dinosaurs. Wow. That's a big number. Now, which of the words in red mean the following? Uh, the words in red are dinosaurs, died out, lizards, theories, meteorite, dust, erupted, bells, hular. So when we talk about uh, a rock which comes from space, it's called, yes, meteorite. Done. Number two, ideas we are not sure about. Yeah, let's think of the answer. Yeah, these are theories. Three, threw out smoke and fire, mm, erupted, that's right, stop living, died out. Five, animals that look like small crocodiles, lizards. Now, answer the questions, how do scientists know how long ago the dinosaurs lived? They know this by studying fossils, yes. Uh, fossils are the remains of animals and plants. Two. Why would a meteorite have caused the end and, uh, of the dinosaurs? There would have been a lot of smoke and dust, and this would have stopped the sun shining on the Earth. Uh, three, what happens to the atmosphere when a volcano erupts? There is a lot of dust and gas in the atmosphere. That's right. Let's move to the other page, and wow, the third condition. When, uh, when we revise the second conditional in uh, the previous uh, unit, it was if, uh, if sentence, if past simple, and uh, would, might, could, must, infinitive. If we come to the third condition, we use the to talk about events in the past which did not or might not have happened. Did not or might not have happened. Like, I didn't know the answer. I didn't know the answer. If I had known the answer, I would have told you. So let's say we use the third conditional if we are talking about a past situation. One more time, a past situation. I'm talking about a situation that I can never, yeah, I can never restore it again. I can never go back to this situation again. So I didn't know the answer. It means that the situation has passed. If I had known the answer, okay, I will never repeat this situation again. So I would have to you. Fine. You was asked with the past perfect, so this is the form. Past perfect, talked about the action. And would, would, might have a past perfect talk to talk about the result. If I had brought my camera, I would have taken a photo of you, but I didn't bring my camera. So it's too late, like when we say in the daily language, it's too late. Imagine that you attend a birthday party and you forgot, forgot to bring your camera. And so, of course, you, you do not have your camera at the moment speaking. And of course, you wish, you wish if you had your camera. This is the third condition. So if I had brought my camera, it's not with me now. I would have taken, would have taken a photo of you. We can put a, a, the F half of the second. Is or second. If it is first, we always use a comma before the second half. Like, if you had come to my house, comma, I would have made you a meal. Okay, the opposite. We, I mean, the opposite. If is in the middle. If is in the middle. So we wouldn't have seen that famous singer. If we hadn't gone to the concert. So it means, I mean, third conditional means that. It is impossible. It is a past situation and you regret it or you wish you wish something had happened. It didn't because it's past. We use good for ability and possibility. We use might for capability. Okay? Like if he had been here yesterday, he could have held me. Or it means here he could have. It means he had the ability to help.
help me. Now underline the verbs. Underline the verbs. Number one is done. Number two, what would have happened if a lot of volcanoes had erupted at the same time? Number two, the verbs would have happened. So we will underline would have happened. And we will underline had erupted. Number three. Number three. Uh, if scientists had been on Earth 60 million years ago, they would have seen why the dinosaurs disappeared. So we will underline. We will underline. If had been. Would have seen. Correct. Now make the third condition or make third condition sentences for these situations. I forgot my library card. This is the best exercise to understand the third or the use of the third condition. For example, number two, because number one is done, which is I didn't have much money, so I didn't buy that toy. Anyway. It's too late. I mean, Imagine that today is Saturday and I'm talking about this situation last Wednesday, for example. So you say, if I had had more money, I would have bought. I would have bought. If I had had, it means that the situation is done, the situation is gone, the situation is finished. And I didn't do this because I had enough money. Number two, I forgot my library card. I couldn't borrow a book. So it will be if it is in the third conditional. If I hadn't forgotten it, my library card, I would have been able to go around it. Number three, I was tired. I didn't want the documentary about dinosaurs. Like if the documentary was uh, on, uh, on the TV, for example, yesterday, I'm talking today, today. So it is past, it is finished, it is done. So what would you say? If I hadn't been tired, I would have watched the documentary about dinosaurs. Right. So, as if you regret something that had happened, that had finished. Okay. Uh, because, number four, because my father drove me to school, I arrived on time. So, if my father hadn't driven, driven me to school, I would have been late or I wouldn't have arrived on time. So, you have here two options. I will repeat the sentence again. If my father hadn't driven me to school, I would have been late or I wouldn't have arrived on time. Great. So here you have to memorize very well. You have to know very well the past participle of each verb. Uh, as an answer, this is um, uh, just like um, a speaking practice for you. Now, um, let's go to the function box. Giving dates you are not sure of. Wow, giving dates? Yes, talking about dinosaurs. Maybe you have read about dinosaurs. Maybe you have uh, uh, watched uh, uh, a documentary about dinosaurs. Are we certainly sure or 100% sure of the dates? Of course not. These are approximate date, approximate date. Uh, it means that uh, date. Uh, it means that you're not sure. You're not hundred percent sure. So I say, dinosaurs lived about about sixty five million years ago. Or you can say, we think that people first lived. We think, we think that people first lived maybe two uh, two hundred fifty thousand years ago. As we see here. As you see here, we used about because we're not sure about the date. And here we used maybe because we're not sure about the years, the number of years. Also, you can say, I'm going to talk about, uh, to talk to you about some people who lived almost, almost. So here we used about as um, uh, highlighting here. We use about, we use maybe, we use maybe. It is highlighted now. We use almost, almost, because we're not sure. In around, in around 8,000 BCE, people began farming in North America. So what I, what I highlighted now uh, are information used to give dates you're not sure of. You're not sure of. Fine. Lesson, uh, lesson four. Lesson four. Um, 
What do you know about these animals? Were pin bears and do the quiz? So, uh, for example, with the following can hippos do? Um, maybe they can swim, they can walk, maybe they can run because hippos are very heavy, really heavy. It's like a fun quiz for you. It's like a fun quiz. Okay. Um, fine. Let's go to the review. Review. Okay. Um, complete the text. I have dial, erupted, mixed rice, series, and volcanoes. Why did dinosaurs die out? There are different. Yes. 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 Series. That a what? A meteorite. The Earth or uh, that there were many, uh, many volcanoes which uh, hmm, erupted. So there was no sunlight. Fantastic. Now, match to make third conditional sentences. One is done? Yes. Two. Two A. If I had lived thousands of years ago, I would have seen zebras and giraffes in Egypt. Three. If I hadn't seen the documentary, yes, D. I wouldn't have learned all about dinosaurs. Four. If I have followed you into the cave, yes, I would have seen the drawings on the walls. Now, um, answer the questions using the words in brackets. All right. Uh, how many hours? Uh, here, here, here we have uh, almost, about, around, I think, or maybe. How many hours do, uh, a day uh, do hippies spend the rivers? So you can say they spend almost 16 hours a day in rivers. Number two, how heavy are hippies? You can say hippies weight about 4,000 kilos. About 4,000 kilos. Because you're not sure of the number or of the weight. How much grass do hippos eat? Mm, they eat around, around 35 kilos of grass a day. And number four, how many kilometers, kilometers do hippos walk every night? Mm, I think they walk maybe 10 kilometers a night. 10 kilometers a night. A, a night. Thank you very much and wait for me. Um, next video and the next video and June 17 work book. Thank you, grade nine. Thank you. Goodbye.